Thema for tonight is Prophecy and Perez. Prophecy and Perez, please unmute the mic and tell us where you're zooming us, where you're zooming from. Mr. Greetings, Papa. Messiah greetings, Prophecy and Perez. How are you? <laughs> we are good, we are good, Baba. <laughs> Prophecy and Perez, <laughs> they are already sleeping <laughs> now. <laughs> they are already sleeping. <laughs> I uh, have one already went to bed, the one is refusing to go. She says she's listening, but she's here right with me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Where are you my, zooming from? Uh, we are zooming from Bromo Spray. My name is Clifford. Clifford? Yes. Okay, how can we assist you? Mm, they had prayer requests. The prophecy uh, during the week when she was playing in school, they she fell and then she collided maybe with a, something very painful. I don't know if it's the all, and then with the head, and then she had bump with the head. But in school, they couldn't call us, they didn't tell us. But I only saw it early in the morning that she has a bump here on the head, and then when she was very pain, and then she was so uncomfortable. So she also wanted to tell Baba about it, and also. Uh, she used to struggle with tonsils, so the doctor booked her uh, appointment on Tuesday for them to to be removed because they are rotten, which is causing her her breath to 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 uncomfortable to to smell a little bit, and then which is causing her classmate to tease her concerning the breath. So okay. uh, she also wanted. Uh, to talk to Papa about it, then also the bullying in school. Okay, okay. And then Teresa, she went to sleep. She she wanted to tell Papa that she 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 also catches coughing during the week, and then she wanted uh, also Papa to pray for her. So for both of them. Okay, so the appointment for Prophet is on Tuesday. Yes, one o'clock in Metfara. Okay, okay. Let us start praying for prophets. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Lord. You are the God. There is nothing that is too hard for you. Father, I pray for prophecy. Father God, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I remove every pain upon the body of prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak healing. Upon her body, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for the tonsils to remove those tonsils. We speak life, we speak your word. Your word is powerful, your word is active. Father God, as the Father is going to go with prophecy to the doctor on Tuesday, I pray for them, God. You are the God who is doing miracles. You are the God who is the healer, Father God. As they are going to meet with the doctors, it's all about your glory. It's all about the testimony that they are going to bring unto you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I speak covering upon the body of prophecy, Father, even at school, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover prophecy with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come against every spirit of bullying that is happening in that school. I pray, Father, let that school be the school that knows you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are the God who is always in control. We destroy every spirit of bullying that is happening in that school. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray for those learners. Father God, to receive salvation in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray for Paris in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I remove every spirit of coughing, every spirit of fever upon the body of Paris. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak life, I speak healing upon Paris in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Father, for who you are in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mama, yes. I also have one last prayer request, Mom. Yes. Uh, my sister, which is referring to my wife, 
Yes. During the week, uh, always when she went to bath, uh, after she come, always after when she come out of bath, she feel very pain in her body, and she continued drinking the the, the painkillers. But I, I noticed something strange about her. She lose power and it's like she's losing her mind. She's losing her mind. She forget easily. Like she's shaking. She has, she lose, she lose power. Uh, she can't even move sometimes. She, 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 sometimes she collapse on the floor and then it's very tense on a baby's because sometimes you, you will find out that I haven't arrived from work or Sometimes uh, I got the call out from work, so uh, the way she is, then uh, uh, I don't know. Sometimes she says something like she's something like she's on a trance. Maybe okay. I, I don't know how to explain that, the, but something. But she's here with me. She's lying next to me down here. I don't know if you can speak to her, uh, her mind because after that she wouldn't even remember anything which is happening, but. The, uh, she she couldn't even eat. The only thing that she could have eat, she will uh, reach the painkillers, drink water, but she couldn't eat food. And the whole week, even today, that similar thing happened. So I was asking for prayers for that. I can wake her up there so she can speak to Papa. Okay. Says, what is her name? Jimakato. Jimakato. Hello, Jimakato. Mr. How are you, Dimakato? I'm fine. Um, you are fine. How do you feel now in your body? I'm, I'm feeling okay. I was sleeping. You are feeling okay. You were sleeping. Yes. God is with you. God is with you. When did you uh, have this attack in your body? Um, the forgetfulness. I've had yes. it since I was. I've had it since I was pregnant. Okay. Last year. Last year. Okay. Yeah, the baby now is eight months, but still forgetfulness is getting worse. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, God is. Oh, that it's only forgotten. Uh, you you forget things. I, I forget a lot, Papa. I, I would even forget going to kitchen and forget what was I doing. Come okay. back and see. Yes. Okay. Okay. God is with you. God Amen. is with you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for the Makato. Right now, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for her mind, Lord, you are in control. Father God, I speak the mind of Christ upon her. I destroy every evil spirit, every plan of the devil upon her body, every attack. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I destroy it. Father, I send forth your word upon her body, upon her mind, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to remember, Father, whatever she is doing, to remember what is good, to remember your word, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I speak healing, I speak deliverance upon her body, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I set her free against every bondage of the evil in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your word, Father, continue minister upon her body in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, Father, this is the fulfillment of the word, the book of Colossians, Father, to set her mind from above where Christ is seated in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every attack upon her mind right now i destroy it in the name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit take control holy spirit overshadow her in jesus christ of nazareth father i speak strength from above in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ 
of Nazareth. We thank you, Father. I honor you. I glorify you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray for the whole family. Be in control, Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Father. I honor you. I glorify your name in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Dimakato, how do you feel? I'm feeling okay, Baba. You are feeling okay. Thank you Amen. very much. Come up with a testimony as the family. Uh, we are waiting for the testimony. We thank you very much. God bless Amen. you. Hallelujah. Let's clap hands for God. Let's clap hands for our Lord Jesus Christ. Love you. Amen. Love you. Love you. Amen. Amen. Fear nothing, Dimakato. You have an authority from above. Nothing, nothing is going to happen upon your body. You are more than conquerors. Remember the word of God says, no weapon formed against us that shall prosper. Nothing is going to happen. Continue trusting God. Did you listen to the teachings of generals? Amen. Today? Yes, yes, yes. Continue meditating about the teaching. You will see God. Amen. Thank you very yeah. much. God bless yeah. you. Hello, Next. hello, guys. Hello, guys. Do you want to know how are you guys doing? Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. Papa. You're good, guys. Amen, yeah. Papa. Hey, God is with you, now. Amen, Papa. Yes. It's how many children now? <laughs> it's four, Papa. Four. Amen, Papa. So are we waiting for more? Wow. <laughs> yeah. One, Papa. <laughs> One. One left. Papa, we are enough. <laughs> hey, don't tell me you are enough, you. Hey, Dimokato, where's your mom? My mom. Mm. My mom stays in standard tone, Papa. She's in standard 10. Yes. Okay. Did she tell you about the complications of your conception, your birth, and all? Yes, Papa. She she did. Did she tell you? Yes. Okay. So you know the whole story nicely, ne? Yes, Papa. I, I don't know if we. I'm talking about the same thing. She told me when I was born, I oh. came out and then, and then I, I passed out for a few minutes. Yes, you, it, it was difficult in pregnancy before. The pregnancy was not good. That's what I'm saying. She should tell you about your conception because your conception, after you were born, you were not going to live. You were going to die. Yes, Papa. Did you were not going to leave, you were going to die. That's why I'm saying, where's your mom? So, the, your conception was challenging. And then your birth, you got sickly and you were going to die. That's what I'm saying. Yes, That's what I'm saying. Did your mother tell you about your conception? Because it was a difficult one. Yes, it was a difficult one. So, that's why... You hear me? I'm saying deliberately how many children left now. We're going to pray for this trap not to happen and repeat in your family. Amen. Because your conception was not, it was difficult. And when you, that's why you, are you not surprised when I say, did your mom tell you about your conception? Because your birth was difficult. Yes, Papa, I'm not surprised. Even my growing up, I've been a sick child since. Pardon? I'm saying, I, even me growing up, I've been sick in and out of the hospital. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Since you were born, your birth, your conception was a difficult one. Yes. You were not supposed to be alive. They wouldn't yes. understand what was happening exactly. Yes. And at first, they thought you have um, this sickness, what you call feet. Yes, Papa. Am I right? Yes, Papa, you are right, Papa. They thought you have feeds. They thought your mind was not okay from the onset. 
But now, all of a sudden, you started growing. It's like you were um, going through and through without weakness overpowering you or destroying you. It's true, it's true. So that's why I'm trying to show you now. You understand why I'm saying, did your mother tell you? But now, what I'm saying is, you have a family now. Yes, sir. Now, they thought you have feet, they thought your mind was affected, but now you give breath. Here comes your mind now. Let's look at what is happening. And the Apostle Paul says, we are not unaware of the devil's schemes. You were born, though conception was difficult, but you were born, all of a sudden, does she have feet? It's like also her mind is not correct. Yes. So now you give birth, here comes your mind is going now. And there was a moment where you feel like there was something, you see what I'm touching, in the head. Yes, it's like half of your brain was held like something holding like this yes papa it's true so we're going to pray right now ne? this is just to expose the works of the enemy but now i just want to show you this thing happened while you're in the mother's womb And you were born. That's why I'm saying, let's start from the very time your conception yes. was a difficult one. You were born sickly. Yes, you were born sickly and you feel, apart from forgetting right now, your, your mind will suffer that. Yes. Yes, I, I don't want to count headaches. Pardon? I'm saying my mind would just freeze. It's like I can put a hand and try to release something. Yes. Let, let, let's 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 go before. That's what I'm saying. Let's go before the forgetfulness after giving birth. Yeah. So now, where does this come from? You see where you're coming from now. Yes, sir. Your conception has been difficult. That's what I'm saying. Did you sit, my mom? Sit, your mom sit down with you and tell you exactly what happened. Yes, Papa, she did. All she, all she told me is that I came out and I did not cry. So they were battling to make me cry. And then after a few minutes is when I started to cry. That's why you understand your birth was difficult and you were sickly after that. Yes, after that I grew up sick. The time saying the thought feeds, the thought you are going to be mad, like your brain was not okay. Please, yes, Papa. Yes. In 2011, in 2011, when we were still in in a college in Kimberley, she she was once get mad. She was blind also. I think it was in her first year when we were there, and then first she just started crying by headache. After headache, and then she was blind. After blind, she got mad. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. Current... Yes, that's what I'm saying. Let's look where she comes from. Let's look where your wife comes. They thought she's going to be mad. They thought it's feet. The thought she's affected just from birth. And sometimes it's like a point where you lost your mind. You don't know where you are. You just... It's like you just come back. Yes, yes, huh? It's true. it's true, Papa. It happens a lot. Like you, you just come. How did I arrive here? What was I doing? You just come back. True, this Papa. happened since when you were young. Let's thank God for keeping you up to now. You, we can sing Ebenezer. Who named you Dimakato? It's my. They say it's my grandmother from my father's side. Why was she naming you the Makato? She, she named me after her, her sister. After her sister? How was her sister? I, I don't know, Baba. I have no idea. 
the sickness, the trouble from that side which followed you. That's why I'm saying, come. Who named you Nimakato? It's from that side. You understand what I mean? Issues of the mind. Let's start again. You'll ask your mom who named you Nimakato. Hey. Your green. Yes. And whose name was Dimakato? It was my grandmother's sister. The grandmother's sister. That was Dimakato. She was Dimakato. Yes, sir. And you must check also their side with the headaches, with the mind issue. Because it's from that side as well. Amen. But the Lord sets you free. We pray for you, your children, every. This ends up now. It will not continue. Amen. It finishes now. It goes. Now, I believe you understand why I'm saying the thought you were going to be mad, feeds, and whatever. Yes, sir. I give it. So we're going to pray for you. God sets you free. You will never be attacked by this. That's why I'm just bringing information so that you can understand. We know what we're fighting now. Issues of the mind. That's why I'm saying from the grandmother, you must check from this side. There were issues, headaches, everything. They were suffering with those. Clean now, no? Amen. Don't worry, you go nowhere. We still want more children. I don't know why you say why. One more, no complications. <laughs> <laughs> but you understand, eh? So you husband to confirm she got a point where she was mad. Headaches and everything. So a mental problem from the family, which attacked you from even the womb. You were not okay. But now the birth proved the difficulty in pregnancy and where we come from. That's why I'm saying the name from that side. And name Dimakato, it's all about saying uh, they thought she was not going to make it. Amen. They thought she was not going to make it. Amen. And they said Dimakato. Amen. But it's God who takes over. God sets you free, no? Amen. Spiritual operation is happening in your mind, in your head right now. Your evil of madness from the family. Your giant demon who's been terrorizing their minds. Your giant demon who's brought confusion in the mind. You ill the devil specializing with losing their minds, you come out, be uprooted out of their lives, out of their bodies, out of their souls. Your darkness out. The word of the Lord penetrates you. Get out! Madness. Get out! Show yourself with every character. Get out! Hey, you're exposed. You're exposed. You leave their minds. Get out! We pierce in the mind by the sword of the spirit. You giant demon of mind confusion. Get out with every character. You come out. You come out. You come out and go back and never trouble her anymore. You will never return. We declare the father of ghosts in the mind. Spiritual operation has taken over. To set you free and to give you life in Jesus' name. What's happening? How are you feeling in your head now? It's feeling itchy, Baba, the whole head. It's feeling itchy, ne? Yeah. You separate from here. Get out! 
completely by the roots. Get out! You go back and come out. You never come near this family. You never come near mine. This is also for all the children, even the unborn. Even the unborn, you never have a trace in their minds. You go. Separate from them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You separate, you leave that head, you leave a brain, you leave a mind. You get out. You get out completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's happening now? I'm feeling fine now, Papa. How's the itchiness? It's okay, Papa. It's no longer... What was happening when I was praying? I, I was feeling pulled out. Like It's like this headpiece was heavier on my head. Like... Something was like pulling. Him. Yes. And now? I'm, I'm fine now. Bob. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Let's thank God for the family. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. You understand? So I prayed for your children. I prayed for pregnancies. All is well. No child will go through this. Even then born. So we'll have more hair. Eh? Amen, Baba. <laughs> Bless you. God is with you. We thank God for blessing you. So you understand, I just wanted to take you back and see what happened. Right from birth. Amen, Baba. Amen. You get it, ne? It's Dimakato. And they thought the aunt was not going to make it. Is the aunt or what? The sisters, the Gogo sister. It's the gogo sister. It's the gogo sister. Is this the aunt or what? What do you call him? The gogo gogo. Gogo. Eh. <laughs> but we thank God. God has set you free. Amen. God is with you, and you have the the, the looks of that side a lot, eh? It's too much, Papa. <laughs> the looks is of that side a lot. Amen, Papa. The looks of the go 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 go. But what, at least your husband loved you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God is with you. Papa, Papa, please pray for me also. <laughs> I can't do hairstyles anymore. Like, I used to wear any kind of hair piece I want, I used to do. But now, these days, since last year, I can't do any hair piece, and I feel like ah. I'm not so beautiful anymore. What did I pray for? But, 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 uh, please, Habi, Habi, help us. What did I pray for? <laughs> what did I pray for? Please take it to the best saloon and begin to... That's why I'm saying, hey, the looks are that side. Hey. I believe they didn't even take care of their hair. So please take it to the best saloon and you know you'll see the you are now. Amen. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. All is well. The itchiness is gone, the pain, the, everything is gone. God is with you. You can do any hairstyle now. Amen, Baba. Thank you, Baba. <laughs> yeah, it's over. God is with you. You you bring your testimonies, it's over. Amen, yeah, so you understand where you come from. That's why, and you look like them. I do, Baba, a lot. That's what I'm saying from your grandmother, the sister. It's because they thought she was not going to make it. Yes, Baba. That's what I'm saying. It's still the grace of God that you made it up to this far. We can still say Ebenezer. Because you were not supposed to be alive at your birth. But we thank God for bringing you, and this man who wouldn't be having a beautiful wife like you, Shem. She, he, he's, he's so happy now. He can, he will learn to appreciate you from today. Amen, Papa. Amen. Yeah, you're not a ghost. 
You are the reality. <laughs> Bless you, my guys. God loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Love it to you. Bring your testimonies. Please take it to the best saloon. Her testimony must be with a new hairstyle. At some point with the hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe I believe you're also tired, man. Please, please. She needs a new hairstyle. <laughs> Amen, Baba. <laughs> you know, just looking at uh, the first day, I'm so tired. So you must be seriously gone. Bless you. God is with you guys. We thank God for blessing you. Amen. Baba. Love you, Baba. <laughs> Love you, guys. Bless you. Let's thank for Jesus Christ. Let's thank God for revealing their mystery. Let's thank God for blessing them.